Hello, everybody, and welcome to City Dwarves, A Cobbler's Story, episode 10. How are my favorite players in the whole wide world doing today? Aw, I like Happy. it every time you say that. Hey, favorite DM. Yeah. It's so good to be back. Is this <laughs> twice in one month? Time is an illusion on a flat circle. No, no, no. Neil says no, no. Time is... <laughs> Do we do this Just recently? By. No. <laughs> no. Oh. Gosh, I have fond memories of you that live eternal. <laughs> <laughs> um, so speaking of our recent last play date, what happened during it, Seltzer? Since it's so fresh in your mind and since you're so aware of, you know, it, it feels like it was yesterday. So you must be like really on point with with the events and the things yeah most of those things being uh the audio coming through my laptop into the microphone so i got that figured out um what have we been doing well we had uh a failed break-in at bethany and francesca's house was yes. our most recent adventure as whoa, I whoa 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 failed break-in speak for yourself so the, <laughs> the arbiter of success for this break-in was bethany getting back together with me so it was, mm. it was that was a failure then it was a failed break-in. Uh, um, it doesn't fully play through, though. Uh, I think, actually, where we ended was that uh, that I was at peace with this, that, that Boldara just, just wants Bethany to, to be happy, and that there is just kind of, like, this slight background mystery that is totally not going to eat up, like, all my thoughts or my time about, like, why she would leave that, like, get me the hell out of here and, no, and then be like, oh, no, JK! Like, so, you know. But that's, that's just, like, a passing curiosity that Boldara has. Oh, all right. Well, good. That's good enough for me. Unless, Jen, you have something to add? No. Good grade at D. No, I mean, okay, sure. Like, we did... Uh, <laughs> it was not the best plan, but the alcohols were mixed. Uh, all right. the... Not the alcohol, <laughs> the bottles. Right, the bottles. That we suspect bottles. are maybe charmed have been mixed together in a way that is not super sneaky where all the colors are mixed up together and the fluids mm -hmm. but maybe mm -hmm. just maybe maybe the nightcap that we think maybe charms the ex has been messed up for the night so maybe she's gonna have a revelation tomorrow maybe mm. but maybe not but maybe mm -hmm. so Maybe we did something. Also, I would like to shout out to the dice roll from the last session because I had two 20s in a row. <laughs> Hi. Oh, what? Good. what? Uh, I cannot roll today. <laughs> <laughs> I spent all the luck. My disguised persona made good friends with Bethany. Yes. Yes, that was amazing. Whose name yes. I totally remembered and didn't just beg my chat to remind me, thank you, on Arlene, was Rose Mars. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Write something unrelated and really quick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that is where we left off. So why don't we pick up the next day? Um, where is our lovely morning time waking up music? <laughs> all right here we go you had a big night you had a big night mm-hmm you we had did a cuddle puddle that was in my notes <laughs> um <laughs> sorry mildly amused by that uh and, and <laughs> you get up there's there's last night's work done hanging out uh proton has probably gone to bed they like to work in late into the night i think you all are familiar with the the late night productivity sessions perhaps and um uh, yeah there's some cookies left over you can snack on some cookies you can begin to start your day open up the windows let in the fresh air listen to the chickens down the road that are squawking you know see People walking down in the streets, some of your neighbors waving hello to you. You can see some newly minted, self-appointed uh, priestess of Nadinus heading down to that shrine that you made up earlier. Remember the one in town that like you fixed up? She owes uh, us royalties or something, right? For this, like, I mean, I mean are you gonna try and capitalize off of religion? not from Nadinus? No, I'm talking about oh, this mortal. Oh. oh, that's true. Yeah, she. 
Well, she should be making offerings to Nadidas with a note that's like, P.S. Thank goodness for the cobble fee. Yeah, like mm. who said, we gave her a referral code. Is she using this? <laughs> 10% off with Nadinas if you use this referral code. I was just to let you know, we're sent by like... Cobble 2023. <laughs> CBBL. <laughs> <laughs> cobble, cobble. Yeah. Well, the day starts off pretty slowly. Um, there's still some work left to be done. A couple of things here to do. You can either pick it up or you can leave it for Proton later. They love working. Um, and I think your morning is interrupted as the three of you are finishing up breakfast by your dear friend whose name I had in my brain when I started this sentence. And by the time I got to the end of the sentence, uh, the name had left my brain. <laughs> Who's our friend? Check. Give us some clues. Is it like a bard? The, Is the it bard. like a neighbor? Yeah, the musician oh, bard, bard boy. Guy? Is, Roy, boy. Roy boy. Roy boy, that's it. Yes. Roy boy. Yes, uh, you are interrupted by who other than Roy Boy, who comes knocking on the door and sort of poking his head in while he does it. Just sort of that, like, I'm going to let myself in knock, you know? Mm-hmm. I'm going to toss his head in and be like, hello, hi, how's it going? How are the shoes doing, Roy Boy? He bought our shoes, right? Are you rich yet? Did you buy our No, shoes? Guy's the one who bought the fancy oh, shoes. No. Oh, that's right. Roy Boy's the bar. How's the competition going, yeah. Roy Boy? Uh, well, not so great. Why not so not? great. Well, because you sold my arch rival the finest pair of shoes, and apparently it's working for him, and he's not falling into financial destitution, and he is getting good jobs, and now my greatest rival is more successful than me. I can't believe that worked, guys. <laughs> I'm I mean, like, yeah, oh, of that course makes he a is. lot of sense. Yes, yes. And I'm yeah. like, <laughs> Obviously, and it's it's his talent, uh, you know, buffed by these shoes that we've given him, right? And in no way the mob boss hooking him up with jobs so that he could for sure pay the shoes back. <laughs> You're not saying that well, aloud, are you? <laughs> well, Lars had a rough night. She grumbled it, but I don't know. Not if anybody heard that. <laughs> I, I'm talking over her. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. This is the shoes. The shoes. Yeah. Um. So... I came in to commiserate with my friends. Mind if I uh, stop in for whatever you're having? No commiserate, just misery. Oh, the back <laughs> that crying. sounds <laughs> like <laughs> my vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in, Roy boy. We have some leftover cookies from yesterday. They're not that stale. No, yet. we don't. We don't? Roy, you needed to be about 10 to 15 minutes earlier if you wanted any of those cookies. Thanks. Look at cats, though. Have you met our cats? I have heard that they're, there are giant monsters that live in your house, but you seem to be alive. Super, they're very soothing. I'm eating the cookies cute. out of my pocket now. Kimble, I call look. the cats. Do they come? Yeah. My cat comes when he's <laughs> called, so I think your cats can come when they call. Um, Great. And Roy will behold the behemoth feline and that sort of look of, is it about to kill me? No, I think it's fine. Passes across his face, <laughs> which I think you're all aware of as well. Yeah. Uh, hi. Hi, kitties. Hey. Where on the Roy does the cat come up to? Um, if they're just sitting, you know, like they would on a stool, uh, they probably come up to his thighs. But if it were to do the like reach up, they could easily reach his shoulders. Hmm. Yeah. The cats are so cool. Yeah, they're huge. For us, they're like taller than us, taller than me. They're very large. Yes. Maybe not so what, taller what than you, you need, but yeah. What did you need to commiserate about just not getting jobs because you don't have nice shoes? Well, yeah, I was coming by. And I was thinking, you know, Roy boy, you know what your career needs? Was that what you call yourself? I mean, it was so popular. I just I thought it might as well stick. But Makes you know sense. what you you really need is, is a new act. Oh. And a new look. And mm -hmm. so I came to a friend of mine 
a friend that I've, I've known for years and always gotten along with. And I thought, what if we did a duet or a, a pairing? You could make the shoes. I've got the client list ish. It could be improved, but you could both get us some nice fancy footwear. It seems to be going off. And um, why would you hire one man with fancy shoes and a good voice when you could hire two people in fancy shoes and good voices and instruments? I have been missing performing. You know, it's so easy to get su sucked into the administrative side of business and forget about the craft. Mm -hmm. It's tempting. Mm -hmm. And we really, you know, it's like we could put our shoes on me and Roy Boy, and then we could wear the shoes in front of people and influence those people to maybe want to buy the same shoes. Like we would be like influencers, you know? That no one's sounds... ever thought of that before. This is brand like new a great idea with, this is... with no drawbacks. It's a lot of potential here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I I don't mind this idea. I kind of like it. I I mean, I of course I have a client list of my own, too. I'm sure. I I would be. You know, I expect we'd equally tap our own lists, and you know, this would be a real partnership. A real uh. Got to come up with a good name for the band, though. That's a good point. Lazily and oh my god, my favorite band's name is Shoe. Guys, does that help? <laughs> Shoe? Yeah. Shoe, man, like... you fucking slap. Everybody, go listen to Shoe. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, they could be a rock band. Uh... Uh... Yeah, band me, I know. <laughs> um, I like this. See, the thing is, though. Mm hmm. It sounds like you're kind of just asking for free shoes. No, no, no. I, I fully expect to pay for them. I mean, if guy can make it work, we're going to be we'll be we'll be rolling in it. I'll, I'll do the same thing he did. OK, I think I mean, I'll have to talk it over with accounting, but I feel like maybe we can Whoa. find find some, you know, maybe a, a, a little bit of a deal. Like because a payment plan? Are, well, <laughs> or, you know, because if if you agree to, like, tell people that you got these shoes here and, like, try to get people to buy the same shoes, then I feel like, you know, a little discount code. And by code, I mean thing I say. Why would we give people a discount? I mean, why would you give people a discount? We give you a discount. Oh, right. Okay. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds great. I mean, but, we're friends. We're like besties. Yeah. There's got to be like a, you know, there's got to be some benefit to being friends, right? Yeah. There's, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you can't quantify your friendship by monetary gain, then what can you quantify it by? I don't know. I just know I've, I've never had a for better friends with benefits than you. So um, why don't you so uh, nice. think it over? If you're into it, I'm going to be down the street. Uh, you know where to find me. And um, see you soon. And he quickly leaves. Uh, this is a great idea, actually. Yeah, what did you just agree to, sis? Um, an act where we wear the shoes and we give Roy Boy a little bit of a discount to influence people to buy shoes. And this is your friends with benefits situation. Yeah. And like, I mean, which, like, what kind of act? Do we need What's the name? I don't know. I must really like Roy Boy because I've never offered anyone a discount on anything before. Yeah, I think that's actually what's most shocking. Yeah. I'm gonna read my notes to remember if I like the guy. <laughs> it's like but you're gonna be there. Up, like her ledger of notes about each person she meets, her personal diary. Sis, you're you're gonna be there with him as he's doing this, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, shit! Pep, Pep, we're fine. But 
Laszlo's gonna be there supervising Roy Boy. That's yeah. he can't screw this up. It's not it's possible. It's a duet because we're gonna we're gonna you know he wants to compete with Guy, so he's like two two bards is better than one. I like Roy Boy. My yeah. notes <laughs> say I like Roy Boy. <laughs> It seems so definitive. I wondered what the evidence was. <laughs> She's like, we through the book. She's like, oh, he made yes. a, a I poem. Like or, Boy. Yeah, he made a poem or something about us, and he mentioned that there was somebody who used a stick, and that's me. <laughs> the duck stick. Yeah, he mentioned the stick, and like I exist in this song. Like, it's awesome. Yeah, I like this guy. Um, Imagine okay. It. So what's the what's the band's name? How do we publicize the shoe store through the band name? Well, we need to make us a pair of like on theme shoes, and they it's have like, to be the better team? than guys. Ooh, better than guys? Yeah, but guys was so, so we're expensive. Just devaluing the last product that we put on the market, no, thus we're establishing. Not that not only do you need to purchase the hottest trends, but the latest trends? Oh. Yeah. I don't think it, the shoes need to be made with more expensive material than guys. They just have to look better. Mm -hmm. They just have to... They don't even perceived. technically have to yeah, perform better. It should be better. perceived as cooler. Mm -hmm. Yes. Also, are you wearing... Specific shoes that's just for the two of you, or are we doing a line that's for the common folk, and then mm. everybody can buy the same shoes as you two? It's a good point. Do we have bend merch? Mm. Mm. Whoa! <laughs> All of right, us. like Ooh. guy doesn't have that. Well, we can't possibly sell that many shoes, but we could sell pictures of the shoes, and we can use the wood that we make the last out of to make woodcut prints to stamp on bags and t-shirts. <laughs> Whoa, apparel okay. that has the name of a band on it? I love that word. What is that word, sister? A a a apparel? Apparel. <laughs> and, oh, and, apparel and... what? <laughs> You're apparel such dorks. Shoes. <laughs> It's almost as though people could show their support and enjoyment of the band by wearing the items we sell them, therefore <gasps> advertising and paying us. They're going to want to keep think... in step with the latest fashions. I think it's a band <gasps> in name. Step. That's our name. That's the band name. <laughs> in step. Mm -hmm. I don't hate it. But I was going like to suggest something else. It's like an nice. N, a N asterisk step. Like mm -hmm. N-Sync? Mm -hmm. oh N-Step, all right. Oh Take a psychic dance. I was gonna say our, our band name could have been called At Last, because of the last. Oh, that's <laughs> cute too. Oh, maybe we that's can do like it. the beautiful the ballad, album. like the metaphor. It's the name of the song. It's the mo the first song. I yeah. carve you in your <laughs> unique shape. Keep you forever. At last, there's walk in your wake. Like you. Oh God! Where's the <laughs> <fucking zipper? laughs> oh my God! Okay, so our axe name is called N Step. I'm dead. Yeah. And N the axe... apostrophe step. Yeah. Not apostrophe. And... Asterisk. Oh, asterisk. And then the axe purpose is to sell shoes. Okay. And a... and the... and, and apparel. Apparel. And like apparel. Accessories. And accessories. It's it's almost like we would become merchants of yes. our own our own items. We could call it. Oh my god! Your cat is like, oh. I, I want. Like, I want to do one. I want to do one. I want that too. Cats. Where are you, cats? She likes to lick my face. It's very uncomfortable. It's adorable. Mm. I feel like I need two more cats. <laughs> like just not just one, two more. <laughs> As um, a note, okay. Jen already has two cats, in case yes. anybody... <laughs> <laughs> so, but there's a logic to the four cats. I don't know if you want to get into that. It's okay. So, I'm Axe curious. Shoes. Yeah, okay, why so... four? All right. So, my boyfriend is very popular with the cats. And they both like to lie on him on the couch when we watch TV, which makes me incredibly jealous and sad and resentful. 
And then I just counted. Okay, so they're both on him right now. There is only one spot left, which is this chest area. So if we add two cats, the fourth cat will be stuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> so I need two more cats. That is a very well thought out plan, actually. That's mm -hmm. really good. Yeah. All right, so which shoes? <laughs> Are we doing uh, one-off shoes? Are we doing a line? Like... I this uh, this is a very important question because Roy Boy thinks that Guy's success is partially at least due to the shoes. So we apparently made shoes that are really making a splash. So part of me is like we need to make like one of a kind crazy shoes, but I do like the idea that like people could buy the same thing. Hmm. We could make two versions of the same shoe and like we have like the really, really nice one and that's like the designer version and people can buy that, but it's really expensive. And then we have the like the pedestrian version. version. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the yeah. pedestrian like version has to be so pedestrian that it does not interfere with our high end sales because if it's yes. too good, uh, I'm staying there. But what if they're like not even shoes they're like shoe covers like when you go to like get like fake boots at like the halloween store it's just like it, no heel just all like top and like yeah yeah they're coming in like the hedwig angry inch hair but it's not really there you want to do shoe covers i don't know i'm just trying to disrespect a certain level so we can really gain the respect <laughs> of a different level has become a commentary on capitalism that's all this is mm -hmm. we're so, trying to take it so serious and it sounds like satire every time <laughs> these so, are basic economic principles designer version and pedestrian version okay okay so both on sale yeah. Mm -mm. Okay, but we were the designer. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm trying to think of a real world example of this. Um, the first bit of stuff that comes out at H and M at the beginning of the season, and then all the cheap copy made stuff for the best selling stuff that comes out all the rest of the season. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is actually like the the runway show of the designer, and then the H and M stuff that comes out the next week. That's yeah. Okay. That's a good allegory. So, and step, what are, like, what type of shoes? Yeah. We what, which materials are we using? Do we have any we, cool materials? We made guys' shoes out of topaz and with a yellow. What did he get? He did, he got some color. He had topaz <laughs> gemstones for sure. Guy, let me check. I have some notes on the shoes for sure. We there was very out... in depth. Do we use all our topaz though? I think we priced out that we have a bunch of pearls. Yeah, oh, yeah we have it? we have leftovers for sure. A lot of it. Um... What kind of look will End Step debut oh. with here? That's true. So I got the impression that. Guy's shoes were dainty's not the right word, but like fine, you know, mm -hmm. like um, what do you call it? Like a little bit high society, a little bit mm -hmm. more on the the um snobby. refined, delicate, yeah. snobby, elegant, chic mm. side. You know what? I just think that the establishment, meaning the Cobblers Guild. Is something mm. I want to fight against. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, mm. yes. I like that. Mm. Let's go down with the like, cobblers. I feel like that's our thing. I feel like End Step has had it with the establishment, has had it with what's her face, and that's our vibe. Like, yes. we, we make we make cobblecore music. <laughs> it's like really, it's really like it's not for the the it's not for prissy people. But you know, last lie, does music and fashion go together? Yeah. Are we sure about that? Why are you asking me this, DM? 
No, I'm afraid. <laughs> I don't know. They just don't seem completely related to me. They seem like one's, you know, very visual, one's very audible. Seems we like we can completely... be the first people to make this connection ever. We We're can make people recognize a sound as an aesthetic. Oh. Cobble car music sound as aesthetic. Okay, sound as. <laughs> We're speedrunning the death of punk. This is <laughs> that's exactly it. We're, we're speedrunning the commercialization of the resistance. But like, Cobble Core is the coolest name ever. It is. Cobble Core is dope. Thank like, you. I, have to I give... wish it existed so that I could say I'm a fan of it. Bilbo in my chat said Cobble Rock, and that that got me to Cobble Core. So. So what is at the core of Cobblecore? We're fighting against an establishment. What is the establishment and what is the anti-establishment in opposition look like? Mm. Are it's we about... the establishment? No, no. It's about being They're like... killed. Yeah, oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Fuck them. Yeah, we don't need no guild. What does we... the guild look like? What do you mean, what does it look like? Well, they all they all dress up. Do they? What what is in fashion right now? Are they doing long skirts? We gotta do short skirts. Are they yeah, doing boots? The we gotta do sandals. That's a yes. good question. Reverse the guild. Well, the yes. current standards of the guild are leather aprons and heavy mm -hmm. work boots. Mm. Um, and then that sounds kind of hot, though. I mean, it's a good. It's good fashion. It's good so styles. So I think we need to take like the functionality of those things and level them up, you know? Like a leather apron, how about a full leather suit? Uh, work, heavy work boots, how about like a six inch platform lug sole? We're gonna win the workers' hearts because yeah. it's not the guild leaders that priss about all day in their, their fancy wear, it's the workers that are wearing the aprons, that are carving the lasts, and we know the struggle because we do all of it here. And then in the background behind me, Proton is just working as I'm like sipping my morning <laughs> tea, conversing with my sisters. You we'll show that we understand them. You will remind me of Tom Haverford from Parks and Recreations. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Where it's like yes. they've got leather yeah. boots or leather apron and work boots, but we're gonna go full leather suit and yeah. it's just <laughs> yes. Treat yourself. Yeah. yeah. Treat yourself. Okay, so full leather suit. <laughs> we're that level of entrepreneur too. <laughs> so like it covers the aprons and the boots in one piece. Like I gotta have some leather pants if I'm gonna do cobblecore, you know. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, do we need aprons? Like, indeed, if your whole outfit has leather, no. like, do you See, even need an apron? We, we reject the apron. <laughs> our whole self is the artist. We don't need to mm. protect ourselves from the art. We don't need to separate ourselves mm. from the craft by an apron or a guild. But sister, Peb brings up a great question. I think we need to make that literal. I think we need to both give you the apron and then have you discard it before the people. This might be a oh my god a Hunger card. Games. <laughs> do we, do we bur do are we doing an apron burning? <gasps> do you burn it off yourself? Ooh ooh ooh! We rig it with explosives. <laughs> <laughs> we can put them in the boulder holders. <laughs> if you haven't watched the first nine episodes of this series, first of all. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Second of all, was... congratulations, you have a great weekend of viewing. I was not prepared for the boulder holders. <laughs> Honestly, it was Anna's 60 bra burning reference that set me up, so. <laughs> <sighs> for clarity's sake, there are no explosives in this time or place. Yeah, you cannot but blow we yourselves could up. set an apron on fire. I will not stop you from setting yourselves on fire, but you yeah. can't blow yourselves up. Wearing leather, you'll... Yeah, I feel like if I have a leather outfit on and then I have a leather apron and then we coat the front of the leather apron with something flammable and then we light that on fire, it's not gonna burn through the leather quickly. We just light it on fire, I take it off, I chuck it away and it's symbolic. And here's the thing, I'm so confident, Neil, that you don't have to do that thing where you make us go try it in real life because <laughs> it's no. definitely gonna work. 
and it's not as easy as the egg shaking. We'll just leave this one up to the dice rolls. No real world tests oh. with fire. Oh, monster. I can. Ah, oh, I had a. Okay, yes, yes, okay. I had a plan. I had a plan. Before the burning. Okay, we discard the apron. Uh, no apron. So, what if. Because they're wearing the apron and the boots to hide the splatters right and the signs of work on themselves and their other clothes oh. but if we embrace mm. you know like those pants that have like stains and that have been worn oh. and they are sold pre-worn like yeah we could sell Distressed. to people this dress freaking cobbler cobbler yeah. outfit like we could put holes in it before we sell it to people oh yeah, oh. yeah. or sell our old ones but whatever it's all good Ugh. And then we can make a mess of it at our shows. So they'll go home with like their own unique stains too. Performance art, yes. Yeah, can we like drip colored water on your zither as you play in? And then you're like wah, whipping it around. Mm -hmm. Inventing mm -hmm. tie dye. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, it sounds like it's we've a got a direction. <laughs> We're oh, at sorry. our first break. So we'll come back on the other side with some popcorn and some more city dwarves. See you soon. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to City Dwarves, where we've got an aesthetic. We've got a vibe. Are we settled on it? Do we want to make mm -hmm. any last minute changes? No, we're coming. Baby, it's oh. cobblecore. It's, it's cobblecore. It's leather. It's distressed. It's mm. anti establishment. Mm -hmm. It's cobblecore. Perfect. And you want to buy it. Yeah, kind of place for you sure. Can get it. Maybe even multiple versions of it. Yeah. No, maybe you can you never both, have too many aprons. Maybe you get both the designer and the pedestrian. <laughs> one's your one's your, your daily apron and one's your... Mm -hmm. Well, no aprons. No aprons. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're right. No. You're right. Yeah, because our oh, clothes okay. are good enough that they can withstand and enjoy the work without an mm. apron to protect them. We do not certify these claims. Please do not use these clothing at any temperature higher than 72 degrees Fahrenheit. What's Fahrenheit? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's a degree? <laughs> mm, I ain't got one. All right. Well, with this idea in mind, you can head down to the tavern. What's the tavern called, Seltzer? Ram's ass. Ram's ass, where you can go find your good friend, Roy Boy. Is the whole party coming to this? We haven't decided on the shoe look yet. Mm. Mm. Should we go back. on like an observing go mission? Back. <laughs> Maybe this is an info gathering. Where? What are the people wearing at the bar? What are mm. they into? What do they like? Let's listen to their conversations. Let's hear what they're willing to spend. Yes. What do the cool kids wear? Where are the cool kids? Who are yeah. the cool kids? Where are the cool kids, Neil? What are the oh, bards is it us? wearing? Is it us? The bards are the cool kids. Well, oh. what's in right now is the same thing that's been in for all of time, really. It's really been the one aesthetic thus far, and it's sandals. Sandals are the aesthetic. They can be tied around your ankle all the way up to the knee if you really want to be fancy. They can be thick on the bottom. They can be held very loosely so they can be kicked off, or they can be strapped down. Those sandals... Those sandals come in many shapes and forms. And if you give them just a little bit of a cusp on the edges, you can even work as like a marching shoe. So if you're like, you know, really got to go a good distance, you can get like a sandalized marching boot for that purpose. So that's the that's the bread and butter of society's footwear, the sandal. But cobblers wear like work boots, like in the guild. Yeah, in the guild, they wear... Um, oh, if Carhartt see. built a Doc Martin, that's what they would wear. <laughs> I saw you flipping the pages of that mental catalog, Neil. I'm like, look at him go. He's, it's got eight, nine pages in it now after talking with us all this time. I had I feel like COVID Carhartt back in September, and now my brain is just like not remembering oh, words, man. and it's just like, I know the word, and it's never coming back. Yeah. You got it, man. We got all the time in the world. They'll be fine. So what if? What if we make the work shoe a more popular shoe than the sandal? That's what I'm thinking. Like, work boots like, become the aesthetic. Mm -hmm. But also, like, when it's raining, sandals are sh crappy. 
Yeah. You get your toes wet. Yeah. If you drop something on your foot, it's going to hurt. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, foot care is at a all time not invented yet. So let's cover them toesies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the toes are not pretty. Why are we showing the toes? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Pebble said, looking at her own toes. <laughs> well, we have beautiful dwarf feet. That's different. Uh, they come yeah. naturally haired, padded, and. Yeah, uh, it hides them. We have the a culture. Hair. Yeah, the, the the hair and the culture of, of foot care. Mm -hmm. Feet are big with us. That's why we do the shoe thing. Mm -hmm. Hair is natural protection, mm -hmm. but not everybody comes with natural protection mm -hmm. like us. So that's why we invented mm -hmm. the boots <laughs> At, out of pity for the humans who don't have hairy enough feet. We're yeah. giving yes, them sir. artificial hairy feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. True. Troll boots. shoes. Uh, you said if Carhartt made a Doc Martin, and I found an image and put it in Discord. Yeah. Because Carhartt then... basically does make kind of a Doc Martin. This is exactly what I had in my brain. <laughs> I've never seen this before, and this is it. This is the image. It was a yeah. very astute, like, aesthetic. Thank you. Job. I've you been practicing. I have been, yeah? I have been working on making, on learning more in order for this campaign. Yes. <laughs> Did you actually now, research shoes? Not shoes it. so specifically, but I now will track a couple of fashion people <laughs> on YouTube shorts. Yes. Aww. That's, aww. We, we affected his algorithm, guys. Aww. We, you did affect my algorithm. I don't know if awe is the right set of words. <laughs> yeah, sorry, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> mm. But fine. I believe it. it. Great. I've seen yeah. you count the trees. <laughs> I've seen you count hundreds of trees. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is very true. So basically, we're going to make Doc Martens, the cool version of work boots. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to bring up a, a new page. I'm going to start dragging on ideas that you can think of. If, if you want to. Oh, sure. mine, mine are going to be shoes that are also pants. Like what? the shoes are attached to the pants. Can we call them pants? <laughs> <laughs> wow, you really got me with that. One. It's so bad. <laughs> but there, there is a set of heels that I've almost bought a couple times because they're so ridiculous. I will show them to you. Um, but they are sh pants. <laughs> Pants. And they are <clears throat> the the name of the product is pantalones. Hey, <laughs> I mean that's pantalones. Oh whoa, there's a pair on sale for only seventy five dollars. Well, hey. ours will be more expensive than that. I know, but these were like very very expensive when they were brand new. Let's see. Okay, so your designer version is not for the common folk. And it's the spans. Oh <laughs> shit! Here's some boy. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. There you go. Oh my god! I can't believe these are real. Anna, you should totally get those. That's like great cosplay pants. That's Span. what I'm saying. They have them in red too. Yeah. I, these for guy, I think. These are like chap boots. Ch boots. <laughs> boots. Help me out here, Jen. Yes. Baps. Fresh. <laughs> yeah, I like Schoots that. Boots and brats and boots and brats. <laughs> Very German raver. Spants and baps. All right. <clears throat> Let's yeah, bring them in together. Our, our workwear is our aesthetic because we're about the work. We're about mm -hmm. the craft. We're about the we, art. We spell it with an E. Work, 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 work. Can somebody yeah. write Spraps somewhere? Because I don't like Spans easy. Happily. Spraps, yeah. Spans. I don't. I'm typing it. Spans. Spans are very straightforward. And Baps. See, we agree. We both typed it at the same. Okay, Baps. Okay, thank you. Because they're boot chaps. Yeah. Oh, no, it should be more like this. Boots it should be B H A P S. Baps. Yes. Yes, perhaps. <laughs> My brain isn't melting. <laughs> <Spans> <laughs> and baps. 
<laughs> okay, cool. All right, now I'm seeing three different types of leg wear here. Talk to me. Talk to me, girls. What's going on? Okay, so the ones the the ones on the far left, the Carhartt boots, those are mm -hmm. like those are the 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 guilds wearing those. Mhm. Mm mm, we they, we hate the guild. The two in the middle, those are examples of spants. But that's not what we're going to make cuz ours no. are going to have more like Doc Martin like platform lug sole boots at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Maybe they even lace up all the way up the front of the pant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um and then the far right is an example of haps because the idea is that like this is this is actually a leather pant but pretend that that bag is the top of the boot that's the top of the boot way up here and it attaches yes, to the belt because yes, it's sir. chaps but it's boots oh i see what's happening here this is actually new fashion i think we're we're creating something really special here <laughs> I'm going to look for a Doc Martin to be the bottom, but I might buy those pantalones because 75 is the cheapest I've ever seen them. This uh, is the most I've ever wanted like to use AI image generation. <laughs> <laughs> like, show me combat boot pants. Google don't got that. <laughs> we're uh, we're treading new ground here, folks. Ooh, ooh, I found a good, let's see. Yeah, this is what my boots look like. These are cool. I want these boots. What the heck? I just put it in Discord. Ooh! Oh, nice. Yeah, those are sick. These are actually great. Like, unironically, these are good. I know, that's what I'm saying. I want these. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, do I buy them right now? Okay, so we're making these boots. How about we have... So we were talking about the pants and the baps, but like these are the designer version, right? But what about the common folk? Is that the common folk's boot? Like, is no, that... The, okay, the oh. common folk boot is like the the basic Doc Martin platform. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oops, I linked it instead of copied it. Hold on. You can share those links. That's okay. That's, fine. That's okay. okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's for the common folk. We're doing that. Mm -hmm. And then for our pants and our all that, we're doing the really cool shoes you just posted, but long form. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm, I like that. Okay. When all you right, say long well, form, for those spans, spans. Okay. And those go all the way to the hips, right? Yes, the pants. And they... How far up do they lace? They're boots and pants and boots and pants. <laughs> <laughs> is that what couple core sounds like? Um. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it does. <laughs> How high up does do the laces go? Like up to the waistband. Oh, they, they just lace keep all, lacing up the, all the way up. The way Man, front. it yeah. takes so long to lace them. <laughs> it's like the worst, but also it shows your dedication to the aesthetic. Yeah. Because they haven't invented zippers yet, so you actually have to lace them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So something like this, but extra. Yes! Yes! But all the way up to the waistband. Right. Yeah, right. like with, a, with the crotch. Surprising is, me with the things yeah, they I'm make. Yeah, I'm very surprised by this. I have basically those to the knee, and I did not know that they I had they made them higher. Now I must have them. Well, these go all the way up. Whatever all that means. Um. Okay. Yeah, those are amazing. I got distracted because those are so cool. I like boots. Okay. Go down with the guild. <laughs> oh, oh man! Like in a couple months, we see some peasant doing some like pathetic version, trying to copy. It's not happening. You can't make it. Ha it's not boot pants. You're doing it wrong. Yep, you're right. That's that's mm -hmm. the knockoff. They're just out there with twine and like. Mojo Monkey Lord in my chat said, "See, I was just picturing fishermen's rubber waders, and that's actually <laughs> very accurate." Oh shit, that's probably what I need to search oh, for. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, because that is 
that's actually what you're talking about. Yeah, but cooler. Right. If if fishermen had a, a runway show, what they would wear there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's With us. laces and buckles and straps. Mm-hmm. Oh, damn, these are cool. We can make <laughs> these work, girls. Well, I guess we just gotta ask... Uh, what's her face? Protoni to do it. Protoni! Come see our glorious new designs. Proton will come on in, still rubbing the sleep from her eyes. And she'll look at the scrawled notes on the page and walk around it a little bit and turn her head to the side and... And then point to the pants, point to the boots that lace all the way up to the thighs and asks, do, um, I see they lace up the legs. Does that mean we don't need like laces in the crotch? Or are there three sets of laces when you hit the hips? Is it slip on? <laughs> they would lace up the hips, right? Well, I mean, what? Well, you could do all kinds of, I, you know, you got options. You could do a little peekaboo in the front, straight up the boot laces. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. On the sides. Mm -hmm. I was thinking that it's more like not like you're like you're thinking of like the tongue of a shoe, like that mm -hmm. moves back and forth. It's not like that. No. It's like there's a panel and it just laces over the panel. Oh, okay, so laces don't actually tighten it. They're just aesthetic. They do tighten it, but it's like um like tighten a little bit so it's like if the if it's like this right and there's the panel underneath uh -huh. it tightens over the panel and the panel just slides behind uh-huh or buck buckles underneath okay okay so they stay on because they're tight from that or do is there a belt to hold them on we could do a belt too Just in case. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is our first foray into um into pants. I've never made pants before. I can make shoes. Shoes are easy. But think of them as extended shoes, really. Do you need like um like should we find a tailor in town to consult? Hmm. It might be nice to have someone else to you know, to bounce ideas off of and mm -hmm. who could work on this. A consultant, yes. Mm, yeah, because, you know, I've worked with feet a lot, but, like, getting the the thickness right on legs, I wouldn't want to, like, you know, have too much compression happening. That could be bad for your, your blood system. You know, <laughs> I wouldn't want to... Squeeze the mm. humors out of me. Mm. You're really knowledgeable mm -hmm, mm -hmm. about how it works. <laughs> well, I mean, there's a reason they were going to have me be the keeper of the acorns, right? <laughs> so a, a, my whole life. apparel design involved in the acorn keeping? No, not at all. Wow. But, but you know, you gotta, you gotta know a lot of things. You gotta think about intricate systems and, and how one thing affects the other and how the cascade pattern happens and how if you only store, you know, 10,000 acorns and the squirrels are going to only plant, you know, uh, 3,333 of those acorns. And of those only, you know, 1,000 are going to actually sprout into anything. And of those only 250 are actually going to become, a uh, you know, even a sapling. And so you got to plan for all, you know, your acorn planting all the way down. You got to do the whole cascading of effects. And you also have to make sure to remember that, you know, you got to get all the different types of the acorns. You got to, you got to get them from diverse members of forests. And then it's just, there's a lot of cascading effects here. And, and if the, 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 the puller, you know, if you have too many acorns and the puller is going to be working all winter, that's just not fair. And so you need to keep sure, make sure that you have enough things for all the things, but not so much for the other people to win. And this is why I didn't want to be the keeper of the acorn. It's just a lot of work to keep track of all the things. Okay? That's why I just want to come here and work my hands. You keep saying acorn and man, I stopped listening the fourth or fifth time. You got to stop saying that word. It's meaningless now. Okay. Also, those numbers. I didn't like any of those numbers. That's a lot of counting. I you could have been all of us looking at Proton just going like this, blink, blink, <laughs> blink. I'm like, 
So Proton's basically telling me that she's a better accountant than I am. <laughs> so I can't just like I like you just see it in my face, right? I just realize how like I'm not better than anyone at anything <clears throat> at this point. So while both of them lost interest, mm -hmm. I just went into self-pity. <laughs> nice. I love this campaign. It's always got such positive vibes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, oh, yeah, uh, some, some, to bounce ideas off it would be nice. What tailors do we know in town? Yeah, Proton, well, you're talking like you know somebody, maybe? Oh, I've heard of no, not a me. really good tailor that's um, called Taylor Swift. Oh, the Swift Tailor. Yeah, they're very fast. I like that Jen immediately muted herself. Like, I wanted to hear that laugh, Jen. No. <laughs> no. All right, so we're going to go to the Swift Tailor. I heard mm -hmm. it really good. That's too good, Jen. You're on fire tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go see. Uh, let's go the see Taylor the Swift. Swift. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Um, you get to Taylor, whose name is Swift, and there she is, hanging out. Um, apparently, she's in between work at the moment. She's stepping outside, taking in that fresh, beautiful air. It's no longer morning. It's now mid-afternoon. You've been working furiously through the day. Um, she sees the group of dwarves coming and get up and give you a friendly wave. Hello! <clears throat> Tell me about Taylor Swift, Neil. Taylor Swift is so good at her job because she's been doing it for a long time. The Swift Taylor, she's like 75 years old and her fingers are fast. All right, they're dexterous. She can thread a needle without even looking at it. She can just kind of like lick it and like just push the thread through right away and it's done. And she can just talk and, you know, she, she doesn't even have to look at her work anymore. She's so apt. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's really impressive. Mm -hmm. She sounds like a really good consultant already. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We mm -hmm. bring Protoni and introduce them because I assume we've met the Taylor Swift at some point. Yeah. You know, there's a bunch of Taylors in town. Um, and so this is one of them. This is one of the, the close one kind of near you. Um, her, she actually works closer to the Temple of Shoes than to your place, but... You know, she's the good tailor in the in the nearby area. Mm -hmm. Temple of Shu. Mm -hmm. I, I introduce Protoni and I say, yeah, you know, this is the kind of tailoring that's only in your wildest dreams. You can't shake it off, you know? Yeah, we've identified a blank space in the market. Cool. Yeah, mm. don't blame me. Wow. I'm sorry, should I speak now? <laughs> Those are all Taylor Swift song titles, in case you didn't know. Yeah, yeah, I could tell. I, I was like thinking, trying to think of others. Well, hello, Lady Swift. Um, your reputation precedes you. And this, sorry, I forgot that I was Swift. You are, yeah, you're both. <laughs> I'm both. Awesome, love it. You have to and play everyone else, Neil, sorry. She'll look over at the party and go, <clears throat> well. Mm. Hello, friends. Are you? Uh, do you have some rips and tears that you need patched? No, We're in fact, mm -hmm. we are. Uh, We're designing a new line of shoes, but they're so unique that they are going to need special expertise. Because, mm -hmm. first of all, we're making boots that are going to come all the way up and be pants. All the way up! <laughs> oh my. I'm helping. And then we're also going to make some chaps that have boots on the end. Mm hmm So, Protoni here, our sister, um, Hello. usually makes our patterns and does most of all of the work. Mm -hmm. So we thought that we would introduce you and ask if maybe you'd be willing to take on some consulting work. Hmm. 
He looks down at Proton. He looks up at you. I guess that's still sort of down at you. He goes, well, I could always use a new project, but um, tell me, darlings, is this uh the same old, same old? <laughs> um, you know, I've been been doing this a long time, and I've been thinking about retiring. Queen, no. Your looks are iconic. <laughs> Leslie, stop her. Well, maybe this is an opportunity. Maybe am... we do a partnership between us and the Grand Taylor Swift as your final tailoring act. Mm, but why would I work with you if I was going to do just one more thing? Uh, oh, because so we're you about. Mean, are there going to be other things? other projects in this vein to work on. This is just the first step. Hmm. What's in it for me? Uh, money. Also, through our partnership of pant and shoemaking, we're gonna start a new piece of, what do you call that? Clothing? Clothing category. A new category. I mean, honestly, like, I kind of, I kind of thought you were like a master of your craft and that you loved your art. And I thought this would be like, you know, a really fun new challenge that nobody's ever done before. So I kind of thought you'd be into that. But if you're not, that's okay. Well, what, you, what you've offered here is an extremely unusual boots that are pants that lace all the way up. I mean, <laughs> it's. it's I, I would never have thought of this in my wildest dreams. You know, this is some weird style. Doesn't you know, that excite you, you? You've really hit the ball out of the woods with this one. Everything has changed, Taylor, and it's it's scary, but I've always been a fan of yours. I don't even know if my sisters know how big a fan of yours I am. I have, I have your pants from last season, and I lift up and I show them I'm wearing them under the the apron that I'm currently wearing because I'm still a club uh, and mm. and of course uh, your 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 body count line it was iconic and the way you sew gloves with such delicate stitches between the fingers I knew it had to be you I, it could only be you and and if you're gonna be ending your your marvelous and extensive career Taylor you need oh, to might be you need to go out with a bang you need to you need it's to a love leave story. your last no you need to write this love story because a new song is beginning a new era and you could be the last and the first, the Omega, the Alpha, Taylor Swift, you could start this new generation. You could start them out on the right foot. And I fade back behind my sister. Hmm. How big of a run are we making? Well, the, the Spants and the Baps, <laughs> Are, are like a a very small run, limited edition, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because they're, you know, designer. Yeah, designer. Mm -hmm. And is that it? Just the two? Just a limited run of each of these? To start. This is the beginning of an era, a oh, new but I'm aesthetic. I'm so old and I'm so tired and I want to stop working. I don't want to start a new project that's going to run for a million more years. Well, you don't have to. You just have to help us make the pattern and we'll go from there. Teach, teach Protoni your ways, oh great Taylor Swift. We only want you to have mm. champagne problems, Miss Swift. I could have a Protonige. <laughs> yes. We would allow oh. that, yes. You need to calm down. Sold! Yeah. Sold. I'm in. <laughs> Great. I like, awesome. I like mumble. I was about to offer royalties, but whatever. I guess it's fine. I know. I kept interrupting. I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> for honor, for glory, you're doing this. No money. For honor. <laughs> okay. Now, I've noticed there are two uh, more to pants that have um, somehow made their way in here. I need to share this comment from Canrugger that said she is never, never, never going back to leather. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
That's my guy. So good. <laughs> also, Pan Rager wants to remind us uh, not to forget the pockets, which I can't. I can't believe. I. I can't believe I forgot pockets. <clears throat> yeah, do they I have pockets? I just assumed. I assumed. It's uh, for the working people. But if oh, wait, they're that tight, pocket. how are they gonna have pockets? Are they so? Are they up the 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 front of the leg yes. with the stitch? Okay, so not that. So we have room for pockets on the side. Oh, I do like the side be... though. Mm. I think the front. I think I think we should stick with the front. The I side the front is for next season. Oh yes, yes, there will be next. And we season. take pockets away and we sell them purses because they already got shit in their pockets. They still want to carry right. it. <laughs> That's true. Boulder holders. What? <laughs> <laughs> With lids! Oh, man! It's gonna be huge. <laughs> oh, the small boulder... The pebble orders. <laughs> the over-the-shoulder. Okay, mm -hmm. but what are these? Are these just for funsies, or are Those these are part the of the design? Those are the knockoffs that we were predicting were gonna happen. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. We're, yeah, we're we don't living fully these. in this world, Neil, no. Okay, we're... But it's, these... a, it's a good point. Yeah. The um, last guy, I just like him. I think he's got spirit. Mm-mm. <laughs> 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 But yes, I, I think actually you're right. Like, I understand how pockets are useful for now, but at some point we should shift away from pockets and encourage people to purchase boulder, boulder holders or pebble carriers or whatever. We had a very successful line of clutches. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. clutches. Mm -hmm. We could make a pack that you could put on your back. A backpack. Oh, oh what? I'm sorry, that's already that been is... invented. You can't invent everything. <laughs> Backpacks exist. I've never heard of one. Uh, Didn't what do they call me. that? <laughs> All right. Well, you've got a plan. You've got a professional tailor who will teach your Protony how to do these things, um, work with them to develop the first pro couple of prototypes, and then hand off the project from there. All you need is to get your friend's um, take on it, maybe? Does does his take even matter? No. Okay. Sorry. Then we're done. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, I mean, that's a three-person answer. That's only mine. It does, but, like, when I sit down with him, I'll just sell it to him so hard that he'll think it's awesome. Fair. Yeah. All right. Well, all that remains to do is go back to Roy Boy, talk to him about the clothes, um, the shoes, and agree on Cobblecore as your, your sound and vibe, and then to exchange information about client lists and maybe book a few gigs. Yeah. Okay. Now. Um, and, oh yeah. and the band name that we're in step. I need to write this down. I'm going to forget. How could you forget? Aww, and those that... shoestrings attached. <laughs> is that the romantic comedy that you're going to direct <laughs> no that's a chorus <laughs> if you want it here's your boot no shoestrings attached dun, 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 dun. we use buckles dun, 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 dun. these are good songs <laughs> you're welcome world mm -hmm. all right finally our party gets to the tavern, the ram's ass, and you can head on in and you can go find your good old friend. Um, Roy boy. That's the one. Thank you, Jen. Thank you. All right. Oh, and I forgot to say that when it, within the designs too, we talked about the, the pants, but also I suggest that they make us some like leather vests and like, Mm. Maybe some leather, like, like not gloves, but like Ooh. arm protector. Mm, things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do they work like the like boots? Have whatever shirt he wants. What's that? Do they lace up like the boots, or do they like lace to the, the sleeve? Or I like the lace up. Yeah, you can lace up. Okay. Well, you see Roy Boy over there. Um, he's performing, but like the bar is pretty crowded. That's pretty loud. He's like definitely on stage doing his performance, but only the the first like row or two can hear him, and they look like they're preoccupied. He's doing the like, I'm performing, but no one's actually paying attention, and so I'm sort of the like jazz pianist in this restaurant that no one's actually paying attention to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Um, and he sees you all come in and gives you kind of like the excited wave with his head and the like, I'll see you in a few minutes, like when my set ends. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're going to we're going to turn our attention ever so briefly to Pebble. Pebble. We've been. Old has been going through a lot. <clears throat> we haven't really touched on it this session, but like she's had a rough. She's had a rough existence. Um, and you, the whole party has been working with her on her stuff for a while now. And you're now working on Lazuli's, you know, duet with with Roy Boy. And they're going to get some new high fashion for them. And they're going to perform. And when is it your turn, Pebble? When, when will the whole party be focused on you and your needs? Never my turn. At this point, even in accounting, Pratuni's better than me. She's better at the shoes. She's better at the accounting. <sighs> Lazuli's more charismatic, funnier, more charming, better at music, great at fashion design. Boldar is super strong and cool and heartbroken, but like, still. Still cooler. Mm. What about me? I don't know. There's nothing. Just follow along as always. You know? Good old pebble, no S. Single, alone. Guess there's the cats. <laughs> <laughs> Do they even care? Like, I got the rock. I got the red rock. The one that I get to like hang out with like two or three nights a week. Mm -hmm. I guess I have that. You know, that, that night is, gonna... mm -hmm. is tonight. Tonight's Wednesday, or today's I'm gonna Wednesday. I'm going to hang out with The Rock. Yeah. Well, all right. I hang out. I literally, like, when it's my time with The Rock, I, like, take The Rock out, and well, I we'll, literally hang, hang out with it. We'll, we'll get to The Rock. I don't want you to preempt it now, because we might start a conflict. Um, but we're going to quickly check over with Baldara. Baldara, you've been, you've been going through a little bit. You've uh, gotten the word from your family who loves you very much that you might have been overdoing it a little bit with with Bethany um, that you might have been walking across a line uh, between cute and creepy um, but today that doesn't seem like it's been on your mind at all how's a uh, how's Boldaro's mental health with this distraction is this working Honestly, uh, Baldar is kind of even confused what you're talking about. Baldar is onto a new project. Baldar is throwing herself 150% into it, all the way out, boots and cats, uh, and it's gonna be it's gonna be great. Like, there's absolutely I'm just confused actually what you're talking about, like tragedy and, and stuff. Like, maybe she was sad one time, but like life's so good. Like, who who even remembers that kind of stuff? Um, no, I, we got cats. I got I got I got. Uh, well, there's two cats, so cat and cat. Um, that's big. Um, sisters, no, that sounds great. It sounds like everything's actually going and, quite fine. Yeah, my beer is frosty and full, man. What do you want? Right, you're fine. You're fine. Pain's not real. Pain's, pain's in the mind. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Um, this is here. healing. You could take some notes, dude. <laughs> beer. Great. There we go. Got my note. Um... <laughs> Roy Boy comes on over after his set, heads over to Laz Lai, uh, pats you on the shoulder. Good old buddy, good old pal Laz. Uh, how'd it go? We're gonna do this. You're gonna get us some fancy shoes so we compete with uh, with Guy, and we're gonna make our fortunes. We're gonna get rich. We'll be rock stars. Rock stars. That's it. I love that. I've I love been working that. on it. Yeah. Yeah, because, you know, we're, our music's Cobblecore, so we're rock stars. That sounds great. What's Cobblecore? You know, <laughs> it's like, and I, I described the whole, like, anti-establishment bent to him, and then I... Righteous. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Righteous. That's what it is. Big question. Actually, small question, like, dumb detail. Uh, isn't the establishment the people who have all the money? Well, by establishment, I specifically mean the Cobbler's Guild and no one else. Oh, okay. Cool, I'm in. Yeah. 
Yeah. It, I'm, I'm talking about anyone who's like trying to gatekeep art, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Look, as long as there's good fancy shoes that are like, you know, as pretty or prettier than, than, than guys, we're good. Yeah, yeah totally. You know, what Way sort of prettier. gemstones are you going to use? We haven't decided yet, but okay. uh, I, I show him the designs and I'm like, but they're going to be like, no one's ever seen shoes like this before because they're not even just shoes. Mm. Nice. And people are going to be like, oh my gosh, what's Roy Boy wearing? I have to wear what Roy Boy's wearing. I have to know what he's wearing. So I have to go to his show. <sighs> it's a burden being this handsome and mm -hmm. influential. I mean, I'm not, we're not that influential yet, but it will be a burden when we get there and it yeah. will be hard to bear. I can feel it. Yeah. I, I can feel the, the I can feel the weight heavy. already. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. But right. we can, we can, you know, we can hold this up for, for art. Yeah. For art, for art, definitely for the art not for the money uh so how much is it gonna cost me i don't know yet i have to ask proton who's proton you haven't met proton yet you were at our house you've been at our house lots of times she's she's sitting next to me no that's she's pebble whoa whoa <laughs> <laughs> what's up pebble how you doing <laughs> Pebble, you fast. <laughs> Hello. God, sorry. Ah. Is uh is Proton with us at the bar? Oh uh, no. no. Proton didn't come into the bar. If you look around, you're like, wait a minute. Proton was with us at the tailors, but is not in the bar. That's nuts. I've been talking to Proton for like an hour and a half. <laughs> She's just really quiet, you know. <laughs> there's there's no one there. I've just been drinking. Hmm. Uh, speaking of Pebble, Pebble, Hi. Pebble buddy, yeah. Pebble pal, how's it going? How's that Hi, dragon stick? Boy. It's there. I mean, I bring it everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Always nice. ready. Uh -huh. Yeah. Look so at I... it from its angle. So, um, it turns out, mm -hmm. turns out my dad's got a second family. I got a younger brother I didn't know about. Okay. He's about, who's, I don't, I don't actually know what your age is, but he seems to be about your maturity level. <laughs> okay. What you know, does he do? Like. Is he a bard? No, 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 he's not a bard. He, he's actually, he's definitely not a bard. Um, you're not gonna believe this. You're gonna love this, okay? Like this is like just so right up your alleyway, okay? Um, he wait, wait oh, for what? it, okay? He's got this um, this idea uh -huh. for a game, and he's he's bought like a little piece of land. It's a really long, thin piece of land, and he's putting together this game where you get a big ball and you, you roll it down the land and it's gotta like knock over some sticks and mm -hmm, he's mm -hmm. gonna like, you know, set it up to be real good. And then he's gonna charge people to, to roll the ball down the, the incline and try and knock down a bunch of sticks. Mm -hmm. um, he's working on a name for it. Um, but you know, I was thinking, he was talking to me about it and I was like, oh, well, you'd be rolling a little pebble down the hill, wouldn't you? And so then I thought of you and I thought like, your pebble, he's rolling rocks. Like, what else do you need? <laughs> so you want me to consult for him? No, no doofus. I'm asking if you want to go on a date with him. Me? Oh boy, that was the worst setup I've ever heard though. Well, I, you know, just trying to look out for my buddy. Yeah, we're friends. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm. No pressure. So like, no pressure. If, if I were to date your brother. Yeah, half brother technically. Half brother. Then I'd be your half. Well, you'd be my half sister if you married him. My half sister-in-law. Mm-hmm. 
I would just qualify as sister-in-law. I hadn't mm. thought about that. But, like, you don't have to get married, you know? You just, you're just both kind of dorks. You know, you're both kind of short. You're into games and hitting things with sticks and balls, you know? You'd be cute together. That I does sound like you, Peb. Fine, I'll meet him. Yeah? You think he would want to see my dragon stick? Dude. <laughs> He's such a dork. He'd love to see your dragon stick. That's that's not a euphemism. That's shit. Sure. It's literally a stick Chat. that's like a dragon on it. Like I've I've been holding on to it since the beginning of the campaign. Yeah. Well, his name is Giovanni. No, <laughs> um, oh, he's my art friend, Voldar. <laughs> Excuse me, Voldar. <laughs> Is everything Giovanni. okay? No, Giovanni Sorry. is Rachel's husband. This is a Rachel issue. She's. <laughs> I know you like couples. Italian pizza. It's, it's uh, the one thing Pebble can have, maybe. <laughs> Giovanni, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, this is going to be yeah. difficult for Rachel. Yeah, we can set you up. Giovanni date, okay? Great. Um, I'll have him come over to your place tonight and pick you up. How am I going to recognize him? He'll be the human knocking on your door that says, "Hi, I'm Giovanni. I'm here for a date with Bola, with Pebble." Human. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's okay. a human. But don't worry, he's short for his size. Okay, short human. Yeah, cool. He pats you mm -hmm. on the shoulder. Where you go, kid? Is that your first date? Wow, look at you go. No. What other date did you go on, Peb? You've been on dates, Peb? Why, why do we have to uh, talk about this right now? Like, I totally had dates and stuff. Oh, okay. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I don't tell you everything. Oh, you don't? Yeah, I totally have experience with those things. <laughs> no, what? like... What are those things, hands. Peb? Oh, yeah. Like holding hands and like talking and like hanging out you know all those things yeah that's that's what all the cool kids do on dates <clears throat> sounds like all of it yep i know people kiss and stuff like y yeah I know about this i'm sure you've been on a lot of dates and this will probably just be an ordinary one mm -hmm. yeah yeah totally experienced yeah Speaking of uh, dating lives, what about you, Lazuli? I haven't seen you with anyone and have ever, maybe? I don't know. What's uh, your deal? Uh, I mean, Uncomfortable. I just haven't had time, you know? I'm really focused on my career, really focused on my art, you know? It's like, mm -hmm. who needs it, you know? All right, maybe they just build dwarves differently, but humans, we pair off real well, you know? Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, like, you're the only person I ever really hang out with, so. Really? Am I your only friend? No. No. But like, Dude. you know, you're the, you're the, the best one. Oh, nice. I can live with that. And we just get along. Like, it's easy, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But you know, you don't have groupies. You don't have people coming up to you after shows. You're not taking advantage of any uh, of the, uh, the perks of the business. You're not you like know, sneaking in getting, a handhold on the side. We've been getting the, the, the family business back up and running, you know? So it's just been... Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that bread. Yeah. You gotcha. Bread what about you, Buldara? Yeah. How's your love life going? I'm Googling pictures of Giovanni. <laughs> Wait, who's Giovanni? <laughs> Giovanni's from Bro, Pokemon. seriously? And it is Rachel's husband. That's what, like, you don't even know me, man. To from know Pokemon. About Rachel. I have There's a couple a... of special interests that'll derail my whole shit. But yeah, how did you not know Giovanni from Pokemon? Giovanni, we're not getting Rachel back for a while. 
I immediately it's... knows knew what that would trigger when you. Said <laughs> I'm sorry. The only Pokemon name I know is Ash and Doctor Something, but I can't even remember his name. That's, you get but zero like, points for that. Team Rocket, <laughs> like Team Rocket, the boss of Team Rocket. No, uh -huh. you know Pikachu. Yeah, yeah, sure. I could name like a, a dozen Pokemon off the top of my head, but that's. I don't know any of the, the people's names. I assume Giovanni's not a Pokemon. No. No, it's a person. Of course That's why not. you get the husband. Look at that face. That is. <laughs> that He's is lost. He's the boss of Team Rocket. <laughs> awesome. I'll paste the bad guys. 30 or 40 pictures into the Discord to solve this for you. Don't worry. <laughs> this guy right here is Giovanni? In the orange yeah, suit? Why, why are you saying it all incredulous? Like, he's not the hottest creature to walk the earth. <laughs> I've never seen Giovanni with his hair, like, light brown like that. Yeah, that was season one Giovanni, which was, I don't know, age eight for me. Big time. Big time. <laughs> <laughs> but he only gets better as he ages. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here he is in Ultra Sun. <laughs> you know, every now and then you stumble on a name by accident that really resonates with your players. And um, you know, I know that one. That guy. That's, Look at that guy. That's a Mewtwo. That's not but yes, that's Mewtwo. That's, that's Mewtwo, Mewtwo, but after Mewtwo, there's Giovanni. Uh, I'm going to close this tab now. <laughs> I opened really... six others, but I'm not going to open them right now. Awesome. Rachel posted a picture from Japan standing next to a Giovanni statue <laughs> with Trevor and said, both my husbands are here. <laughs> I really thought you knew what you were doing, Neil, when you said Giovanni. <laughs> no, I really didn't. This is pure luck. But when I started building Trevor 18 years ago, <laughs> <laughs> I had a model. And now as he moves into his new role at, I'll say it here in front of this audience or whatever, Pokemon, um, the plan's coming to fruition, folks. It's all shaping oh. up. I got him the orange suit, but I had to give it away to him. So. This plan that started when Rachel was eight years old. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to find a boy. This is how you know I'm mentally healthy. <laughs> So you know, everything's you going right. Well, you are consistent and persistent. And you have succeeded that? at your goals in life. So my dwarf makes shoes. And <laughs> I'm focused on that again. Great, great. And um, Baldara's relationships are. Um. Well. Okay. <laughs> look. So, so the vibes around this table have really changed. I gotta get back to my set. Um. You just show up at our house and ask uncomfortable questions, Roy. Is that what you're up to today? Why? Who sent you? I. Yeah. It's not like you're like. What about you? What about your relationship? How's your love life? Yeah, yeah, you boy. smooching, Roy. Well, it depends no one, on right? the day. You know. Wherever I play, there's usually one or two that are uh, curious, interested, want, want to meet me, uh, impressed by my my finger work, and um, I, I couldn't tell you their names, but, but no, that, I think a, he's lying. You think you think you could get more pull than me? Last lie. I just don't think I. I just don't think you. I don't, I don't think you mess around like that. You don't think I play the field? Mm -mm. Are you kidding? No, I don't. With a name like Roy Boy, how could they not come to me? I'm I'm just saying, like, I think you're classier than that. <sighs> That's not the vibe. External well, gonna vibe. Well, going to lean heavily on Peb and be like, oh. am I sensing something here? It's, Is you that gotta, the vibe? No, oh, you yeah. got it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You gotta. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah, same as I me. I get more pull than you, for sure. I'll pull you right over. You wouldn't dare. I, I yeah. don't know. I don't yeah. know what I. I yeah, yeah. 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 Dwarves, real uncomfortable people, huh? Don't know how now, to be cozy. You're uncomfortable. Are your faces getting closer while you guys talk like this? <laughs> No, shut up. Um, I haven't got a set to play. Yeah, and he go. Bye. Walks off. Yeah. Doof, doof, doof. What was that? What well, was Roy Boy? Mm -hmm. You guys are gonna make some great music for a very brief period. <laughs> Why brief? That sounds about right. Is this relationship 
is gonna need to learn some communication or it's gonna explode and fire. What are you talking about? Roy Boy's like my best friend. We talk lyrical, all the time. Lyrical, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Wow, Boulder, I can't believe uh -huh. how far you've come just in 24 hours. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, no, no. Everyone else should have romance. You, <laughs> Teb, you should have romance with, I don't know, the love of my life that we didn't even know to talk about until today. And you, you, sister, has been there the whole time. What a beautiful, long history you could share together as you gallivant off into the future. Happy and paired off. What? What do you mean? I think you are hot for Roy Boy. <laughs> you win. I can't. <laughs> I surrender. <laughs> uh, I, I gotta go to the bathroom. I leave. <laughs> From the stage, as Lazuli exits through the door, <clears throat> you can hear the call. <clears throat> this one goes out to my favorite dwarf I've known all my life. This one's called Dragon Stick. Yes! I, 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 okay, so Pebble overreacts to this because, like, it never happens. So she goes, like, yes! And, like, with her just stick in her hands, and she's like, yes! And, like, Lazuli. big step, like, yes! <laughs> yes! And then she goes in front of the stage and, like, holds the stick with both hands, and she's like, yes! <laughs> Meanwhile, as Lazuli was walking to the bathroom, and he says, my favorite dwarf who I've known my whole life, she kind of, like, you know, turns, and then he's like, uh, it's called Dragon Stick, and she's like, and just like walks <laughs> to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Roy's working for the night. Pebble, it's rock time. I'm, I'm gonna actually. Move. Oh, actually, Pebble, when we come back from our break, it's Wednesday, and it's your night with the rock. Oh, shit. But Giovanni's coming to pick you up for a date. So you've got to choose between a rock and a hard place. We'll see you <laughs> oh on the other God. side of our break. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to City Dwarves, where it's time, Pebble. It's your time to shine. It's all coming together. You've got the red rock. And you've got a human boy who is interested in you. What are you going to do? Is this the greatest night of your life or the worst night of your life? It's the greatest. Night of opportunities. <laughs> Tell me about it. Everything's possible. Mm -hmm. But Pebble wants to have it all. Pebble wants to convince the boy mm. to hang out with the rock. <laughs> mm. If he's meant for her, he's going to be into it. So I'm going to take my boulder holder. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put the rock in the boulder holder. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to have my stick because it's freaking heavy. So I need to lean on my stick. That's when mm -hmm. the stick comes into play. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to wait for my date. Now, while you wait, what I'm assuming is in the living room, completely dressed and ready to go, staring at the door. Yes, with the boulder holder and the boulder on me. And like, I'm... I'm, I place myself over like a little table or a little chair so that I don't have to like bear the weight of the boulder. Mm -hmm. But like, I'm literally ready to pick up and go. Like I'm in position to leave. Mm -hmm. Well, we're gonna, I was gonna It's ask... actually her first date. Yeah, we picked she up totally on that. She totally lied, yeah. yeah. Um, we're gonna start by asking Boldara. She's got one of the rocks in her boulder holder that she's leaving the house with on a date where you can't keep an eye on it while she's hanging out with it. She's actually, she's going to take it from the house. I love these fucking rocks. I love these rocks so fucking much. I don't have anything in my life right now. I only have these rocks. But the boulder holder is an exceptionally engineered piece of rock holding technology. And if I were to trust this rock to leave the house with anyone and strapped into anything it would be pebble 
with a boulder holder. And so Excellent. I am exhibiting growth, character growth, uh, and growth of spirit as I am, um, you know, I'm fussing probably a little bit. I'm making sure the straps are all right, you know. I'm watching her, just watching. Just like as she's over the table waiting for the boy, I'm like around the wall just like... Pfft. She's going to stand up. The boulder's going to be fine. She's going to walk out that door. It's going to stay on her back. It's going to stay in there. She's going to be responsible. She's not going to take it out of the boulder holder. She's not going to let other people touch it or see it. She's good. She's my sister. Mm -hmm. She knows mm -hmm. how much I love that rock. Excellent. And Thank you rock too. for <laughs> continuing to model um, good mental health for our viewers. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Namaste. <laughs> now, for both the older sisters... I don't know if this is a thing around the, the family. I don't know if this is a thing with dwarves or not. It's the early days of the universe. You don't both have a lot of dating experience in general, but this is Pebble's first date. And there's no, you know, maternal figure around to, to give any advice. Do either of you have any advice for Pebble? Is there any sort of like helping her prep or is or is it just like, you know, she can she's Pebble, she can handle it on her own. We don't we're going to go do our own chores and stuff and leave her sitting in the living room waiting. What's the vibe between the sisters? Uh, uh, Boldara, you have been in a relationship, so you should talk to Pebble about dating. I mean, I, you know, relationship is doing a lot of heavy lifting in this conversation. Lazuli, you sing so many songs about romance. I feel like you would have more beautiful, uh, heartfelt thoughts to share in the way of Yeah, yeah, but she, yeah. Won't, she won't listen to me. She'll listen to you. Yeah. Well, I, I, Peb? Peb? Peb, come here! Come here! I'm, you I'm right there. It's very come small. Come get up! Really quick, come over here. Your sisters want to talk to you before you go out with this boy. Fine! <laughs> <laughs> I come over with the rock. Uh, Fill in the holster. Big meaty, you know, bold our hand on your shoulder. I'm like, Peb. Mm. Lazuli and I, we knew this day was coming for a long time. And, uh, oh God, you, you just, you look, you look beautiful, sis. You did a good job. Cute. Yeah, your I... hair all over the place. You just you gonna love it. And, God, your beard. Sis, your beard's coming. I can see the little shiny silver hair. It looks, oh god, you grab your cheeks and I pinch them a little bit and I wiggle your face really hard and I'm like, ah, oh. hey, you go, the rosy cheeks. Let's go for you. Oh my god, you. Thank you. Don't let anything go inside you, not the first night, and just make sure. Maybe I don't know, sis. Maybe that's okay, but I don't. I have a rule. That's the rule I would pass down to you. Uh, well, like food, you can have food can go inside you. Like, well, you can eat food. if you see where it comes from, and it comes from a reputable true, source. True, true. See, this is why you're giving the talk. Yeah. Maybe I didn't phrase it so good, but just be aware and fully informed about everything that will be going inside you or going on around you in like a vaporous form. Okay? You always gotta be in control. And if you're not in control, and I'm gonna start digging in my pockets. No vaporous form. If you want that, or even if you just want us to pick you up. Food of reputable source only. No vaporous form. I wanna give you this whistle, but if you're if you're down more than two floors or across a greater distance than uh, I wanna say six kilometers, this could be true. Maybe we should follow her. So maybe we should come with you? We should go with her, Lazuli. We Peb, we're gonna come. With you, I don't know. Do you want should, us to come with you? I should be okay. Like, I got my dragon stick. <sighs> You're so grown up. Oh my god. I'm like, I've been training. Safety. Ha! <laughs> yeah, I like, show you guys she's, the move. But like, yeah, that, that looks reasonable. But like, I'm not ready, Lazuli. It's just. <laughs> I love <laughs> Dara. But like, can we? Can we? Finish this talk soon because this boulder is like really heavy. <laughs> just, Are, just, you're like you're really choice. gonna take that with you? Yeah. Like, how could like it, this is the best thing I can do with my first date? We're gonna like hang out with this rock. Like, isn't that the coolest thing? If he likes the rock, that is a good way to know whether you guys are compatible. Mm-hmm. 
I love a girl who loves a cool rock. You're gonna be great out I there. I mean, if he doesn't remember. like the rock, we're not meant to be. Like, if you're in my life, you gotta accept the rocks. That's honestly, yeah. That's All right. Valid. I mean, yeah. I think you're ready. That's a like, growing relationship. The only reason why I don't sleep with the rock at the foot of my bed is because we have this whole like garde partagée with Boldara where we have to share the rock on different nights but like honestly I would like the rock to sleep at I mean the rock it doesn't sleep but like you know just, like bottom of my bed just presence give it a tap during the night hey you're there <laughs> little purrs I mean maybe, maybe rock noises maybe I hear them too, Ben. Maybe you'll like this person so much that you won't be as keen to sleep with a rock. I think the rock's gonna sleep with us if it went that far. <laughs> and if you find, sister, that you don't like them, just remember, you can lengthen the strap on the boulder holder and just get a little swing to it. That's gonna create a lot of distance between the two of you and potentially be a very final solution to any violence. So just know, if we can't get there in time, that you are capable and my product is solid. I don't want to use the rock that way. Like, I wouldn't want to put the rock in harm's way. I would rather... You are ready to no. take the rock. <laughs> and maybe, maybe we could talk about a second night each week too. It'd be an <gasps> overnight. But sleep first, sleep over with the rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is a whole new life for me. All right, I'm ready. I go back next to the door and I stand super straight and I re-put the, the rock on the little holder thing, and I wait. You hear the door knocking. I look at my sisters. <laughs> Answer it. Got my arm around Lawsley, I'm giving you a thumbs up, and I'm just crying into her shoulder. <laughs> We're like, I, like waiting like this, uh, watching. I, I go to open the door. I like peek. With just my eyes out. With a little bit of anticipation and a, a, a little bit of premature regret, I'm going to ask Rachel, to describe the young boy who's standing before you. Bro, why? Why do you mean you regret? <laughs> why are you doing this? Shits and giggles. Uh, wow. Uh, hey, what what happens, uh, Pebble, as you're looking around the door, actually, the first thing is your pupils constrict. And you would think, oh, this is the opposite of a love reaction. But no, it's because of the fact that this man almost glows in the darkness of the evening. Okay, uh, that's the one... regret. Nope, nope, nope. We're moving on. <laughs> nope, what? that's the regret kicked in. Before you. I don't understand anything. Standing before you as a young man, um, a human, he, he's so high. <laughs> he's not particularly tall for a human. He's like, that's fine. You know, that's fine. Five three. He's a little scrawny. He's a little gangly. He's uh, <clears throat> you know, he he's worked on his face but you can still see some you know red marks from where he might have had some some issues earlier in the day and uh he stands before you holding a clutch of grass blades and a dandelion flower why do i have regrets why are you saying i have the regrets because i th rachel might go overboard Oh, okay. Now I get it. So it's not yeah. about Boldara. It's about Re that's okay. No, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And he stands before you with some grass blades and a dandelion flower, uh, and in his gangliness, just kind of thrusts the the miniature bouquet towards you. I take the miniature bouquet. So now I'm I have like the boulder holder, which I'm holding with like one arm, like it's my baby. And mm -hmm. then I have the flowers in the other hand and now I have no more hands. So I'm like, hi, uh, Giovanni. Nice yeah. to meet you. I'm Pebble. And then I like go to shake his hand with like the flowers in my hands. <laughs> he will sort of grasp your fist and shake. <laughs> Uh, my brother Gilderoy said that Gilderoy? You wanted to go on a date with me or that we would be good together so here Who's I am. Who's Gilderoy? 
That's my brother, that's... my half brother. Gilderoy. That's Roy Boy's real name. Oh, okay. I thought he was like the wrong person now, so I got really nervous for a second. And now we have that to Gilderoy Boy. Gilderoy. Yeah. <laughs> mm. So you're Giovanni Boy? Or is uh, Boy not even I'm part of your name? <laughs> Giovanni man. I'm just Giovanni. But my okay. my close friends call me Gio. Like Geode? Yeah, but without the D. <laughs> Geode without the D, okay. Yeah, you can call me that if that if that's good for you. Uh <laughs> Okay, Gio. What's in the bag? It's a rock. It's a really nice rock. Oh, yeah. And it's can my I see it? with... can peek at it. He like I like open the boulder holder a little more. Over you, looks down your the top of your boulder holder. Whoa. Oh wow, that's a a really round rock down there. Yes. It's very nice. It's very precious to us. And Can it's my it? night with it. Mm, I don't know you well enough to let you hold it. <laughs> but like, we're going out all night. It's going to be there. So like, you're going to get to know me and the rock. <laughs> this is going so well. Okay. Okay. Um, so, so I just like, yeah. My brother said that since I'm the one picking you up, I have to decide what to do what do we so, do I, w I was gonna take you to to the alley i bought to the what the alley between the buildings that i own oh yeah he told me about that yeah uh, it's kind of narrow the... it's like a yeah it's like a plot of land between two two other buildings. like that you know someone messed up the property lines and now it's just like a little alleyway yeah, we can go check that out. You can show me your plans, your business plans, I guess. Okay, so so the whole thing is built on a, a little bit of an incline. Mm -hmm. And so so you got to, like, roll the rock. Oh, we rolled that rock down no. down the alleyway. No, no, no. <laughs> well, you haven't you keep... seen it yet. It's going to be good. We're going to find another rock, not this rock. I mean, We're not using my rock. We're going to find another rock. We can find another rock. <laughs> I'm not right, going. Well, we'll if we're using rock. that rock, okay. Well, you like... know what, though? Let me grab another boulder holder so we can carry that other rock. That's okay. <laughs> I grab another boulder holder. I'm gonna lend you a boulder holder. I I have well, two. Oh wait, how do I put this on? This is why. What are these straps all about? I help him put the boulder holder on. Okay. <laughs> it does look kind of nice on you. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna find a nice rock and try your business thing. Oh uh, well, all the best rocks are down by the beach. The, the roundest ones for rolling are. You're right. It's kind of far, but I guess we're gonna have to go to the beach. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just a quick stop there. Mm -hmm. Just we gotta get a good round rock in the night. Then I can show you how you got like a little a little uh yeah path and it'll, it'll roll then it hit the pins and then you you count the points based mm -hmm. on the number of pins and their positions and then if you mm -hmm. you know you roll the rock a little bit to the left it can bounce off the house to the left and then it might like hit the thing at a different angle and you know i'm still playing with like the number of of sticks and how to set them up like maybe mm -hmm. it should be a grid like a 10 by 10 or should it be like a triangle or should it be a diamond shape you know there's, there's a lot of different ways that you could set up the sticks for like different terminative practices and uh, the real big question i got is scorekeeping like how how do you score yeah, that sounds like a fun like conversation this. for you guys to have. I start pushing them out the door. <laughs> uh, Keep they being will... defensive about the boulder. Don't roll it. I won't roll the boulder. Don't worry, Buldara. I'm not a... dumb. <laughs> Your sister's name is Buldara? Yeah. Oh. What? I thought she had a different name. What did you think her name was? Well, it wasn't Buldara. Anyway, these are these great rocks. 
Okay. By the beach. They might be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess we'll stop by the beach. Did we hear and that like, or just as only we, Pebble? You kicked him as out. We, um, yeah, okay. As we exit, you know, like the flowers that I had in my, mm -hmm. like, I just put them like on the side, you know, like. Uh, oh, right. The the table. You know, yeah. Like the table that was I was holding the boulder on. I just like drop them there. Like I don't put them in a vase or anything. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I I'm on a quest, you know, I'm not focusing on the flowers. Well, the flux pieces of grass blades are, are not particularly keep worthy. And the dandelion flower is, you know, kind of cute, but also like, come on now. Okay. Well, Jen, <clears throat> I would like you to roll me whatever check you could possibly desire for your time at the beach. I don't know what you think the appropriate um, check is for this situation. I want you to decide what it is that you're rolling uh, mm. and roll the dice. And then we shall judge and interpret your dice rolls and decide you how don't it... want to, you don't want me to explain what i'm rolling for we will accept your input but the council reserves its judgment based on the numbers and our own decisions what what are you rolling and why i'm rolling what? investigation because i'm looking for a rock Let's see Bear. well anna she doesn't find a rock at the beach what does she find What floats in the ocean when they haven't been throwing trash in it? Wood. I think Drift she finds wood. a jellyfish. Ooh. All right. <clears throat> so and you it's, go down. Uh, mm -hmm. Like it's not clear whether or not it's alive or dead. It's just Excellent. washed up. Yeah. You get down to the beach. You start looking for rocks. You're finding lots of rocks, but none of them are roll worthy. Um, when you come across a washed up jellyfish on the beach. Is it alive? Oh, you want to touch it? See if it maybe reacts. Do I think it's dangerous? I mean, it's a jellyfish. I don't know. I yeah. don't have jellyfish. I asked Giovanni, do you think it's alive? Mm, poke it with your stick. I don't want to hurt it. Poke it gently with your stick. Fair. I try poking it gently with my stick. Being super normal over here. Neil, what's up? Is the jellyfish alive or dead? Oh, the jellyfish is what you're asking me about. Yeah. It's, um, alive. It's but alive. Barely. Barely alive. We must save it immediately. That's uh, my girl. Make Nadina's proud. Nadina's. Nadina's. The, the, <laughs> save the jellyfish. Is it dangerous save to the touch? World. I don't know. I maybe. I don't know. How mm. could we move it without hurting it? Well, Roy. Not Roy. I'm sorry. Uh, Giovanni. Gio. Mm -hmm. This is going to roll. This. And he's gonna get a seventeen, Ooh. um, and this is his his um, what do you call it? What's the word for like doing things in a way that is, uh, sort of show uh, he in his hum that's a humble brag roll, mm. or a brag roll maybe. Mm. Uh, after both of you look at the jellyfish and not sure what to do about it, he will just take his shirt off and scoop up the jellyfish in the shirt, head out to the water. And then we're going to make him make a wisdom check and he will chuck the jellyfish and his shirt into the water because if there are jellyfish barbs on that thing, you do not want that back on your skin. Wow, that's kind of a flex. They're like, why did you throw your shirt with the jellyfish? Well, I, you know, it was dangerous and the jellyfish and they sting and I don't, you know, like... You ever walk through a field and you get the cattails in your socks and then the cattails stab you in the leg? What if that happened that's, with the jellyfish? It's really good thinking. Yeah, but we need to stop somewhere. I need a shirt. It's cold. Yeah, I figured you were cold. I mean, you have the boulder holder, but that's not a lot of coverage. I should have put the jellyfish in the boulder holder. 
No, I, I think you made the right decision. I think it's good to save the boulder holder. It's a really nice piece of high-tech equipment that's, you know, the next line is it's kind of revolutionary, but... Tell me about it. What do you mean it's revolutionary? Like, like it spins? No. Like, it didn't exist before. Like, how would you carry your boulders before that? You could have you would yeah, but it's so big, and you gotta use both your hands, and like... Yeah, but then you'll so have heavy. to carry the weight, because it's on a wheel. Yeah, but the, you can... This is portable. Like, we can... Hands-free. There's so many things I can do now that my hands are free. I suppose. You know, what would be really good is if you put kids in the boulder holder. Because, you know, everyone carries children around. And then your hands will be free. I don't know about that. Yeah, you could be like a marsupial. It'd be great. You know what I'm... No? He knows his no. animals. I, I hear you. I hear you. It's just like we've been mostly focusing on cobbling and all kinds of rocks. That's kind of our jam. Is that why they call you the cobblefoot quarry? The Not co called cobblerfoot quarry. No, quarry foot cobblers? What was it? No! Cobbler Street Couriers! No! It's the... I swear, peach, you, my brother said the name a thousand times and always sounds different. Peach Street Cobblers? Wasn't it, wasn't it the Peach Cobblers? Well, that's, that's very different. He said there was a quarry in there somewhere. Let me check. Quarry... Quarry... <laughs> Cobblefeet Quarry was the original name, but I'm pretty sure we renamed... Two peach cobblers. You're right. We used to be called the Cobble Feet Quarry, but we oh, did a massive re we did a massive rebranding campaign to be called the Peach Cobblers. Oh well, you know, <laughs> um, <clears throat> you know, Gilderoy. It's okay. He's just not always paying a lot of attention. Well, that makes sense. I wouldn't blame you. Well, he, is, he doesn't pay that much attention. You're correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't find a good rock at the beach, but he'll take you up to his sketchy alleyway in between two tall houses in the Man. middle of the night um, and show you that he's actually, you know, leveled out the ground here and he's been um, installing like little planks of wood, like little sheets of wood. Mm -hmm. um, and he'll, he'll show you what he's been working on. Um, he's building an alleyway with a wooden floor and a ball that rolls downhill. Um, and he's got some, you know, like conical sticks that he's set up at the bottom. Not sticks, but like, uh, call them. A lean like little, the, Yeah. Yeah. Like three sticks that lean together in a, a cone. Mm -hmm. Like a whole set of them. Yep. Well, Jen, um, not Jen. We'll go back to, we'll go back to Rachel. Rachel, what do you think is an appropriate role for how well they get along this evening or a set of roles is there a way to sense another person's and what do we call this as uh dwarves uh stone cutting you want to know you want to sense how good of a stone cutter someone is how cunning he is about stones. Like, he looked at this rock, he immediately attributed value to it, but it wasn't the right kind of value. I mean, is he mm. someone that Pebble could see a long-term relationship with? Can he see the value in the Pebble before him? Mm. Mm. Okay. Sounds okay. Like you're trying to read someone, right? Animal handling. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Um, no, no, no. <laughs> All right. Can he see the value in the pebble before him? Well, there's there's two interpretations of that. We're going to yeah, go with the, talking the, about the rock. That's the boring one that we're going to go with. Oh. After you've been talking for a little while, you know, you didn't find any rocks at the beach. You threw a jellyfish back in the water. You've been checking out his, his workplace, this game that he wants to set up. Um, and he starts getting into like the nitty gritty details of slope incline and you know, boulder speed and what sort of force might be hitting these sticks with. Um, and then at some point he pauses 
and he like looks over at you and he's going to make an insight check to see if he thinks you're into this conversation or not. I want to know whether you are into the conversation about the mechanics of a, a invented bowling alley in character, or is this like not your vibe? I think she's into it. I think it's like super nerdy and she can see the appeal of like tossing a rock. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah. not the one she's holding. No freaking right. way. Over her dead body. So he looks over, and then he's like... He gets that like the read on your face where you're actually interested, and he pauses, and you have something to say about scoring or inclines or slopes or, or stick leaning. Um, and I think... Yeah. I think he will present a, a fairly... Um, what do we call it? He's kind of a nerd. Your character is kind of a nerd. Games are interesting to both of you. Uh, different types of rocks, interesting to both of you. Um, he's making an effort. You know, he showed up with flowers, and he, he's taking you to see something that he thinks is cool. What do you do on this date? Are you taking any um, assertive actions, any, any sort of leading remarks? Are you reaching out in any way, shape, or form, or trying to get to know him in any way, shape, or form? I think that I really engage in the conversations and give very honest opinions where mm -hmm. even if they're not pleasant, I still give them. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like I'm being very protective of my rock. I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, here's a type of rock that you should probably use for your bowling alley. Like not this one, but another one that's also round, just a little smaller. Then I talk about bigger rocks and whatever holes maybe so that you can hold them. Um, boulder holders to carry them obviously mm -hmm. um so i get really into the discussion into the technicalities and i get so caught up that's like there's a lot of business talk but i'm really into our conversations and she's a little oblivious about anything else that could happen yeah well i think that's actually the vibe is that you just end up hanging out as friends talking about the metrics of rock rolling and game mechanics and any sort of, um, you know, other other layer of the conversation is completely forgotten. And um, mm -hmm. be between these various checks I've rolled here, uh, I think that he forgets that he's not wearing a shirt. And then some hours later, once you've actually worked out the mechanics and now he needs to go find the right rocks before he can do the testing, um, it'll be clear that, you know, it's time to go our separate ways. And since mm. his house is vaguely in the direction of yours, he will... Get you most of the way home and uh, say goodbye to you from a half a block down. Ah, uh, but I'll tell him to wait, though. Uh, like, awkwardly, I'll be like, why don't you wait here? I just forgot that you were cold. I know it's been multiple hours since, but I'll get you something. Well, then shouldn't I walk to your door? Sure. Okay. He will go to the door okay. and he will stand outside. Okay. Or him. And it's gonna be so cold. I don't invite him in. I go inside. I go look to just giving like a shirt or something well, that would make sense. Before what? we get there, sisters, mm -hmm. your your youngest has been away on a date. They went to the beach. It's been hours. You haven't heard from them. <clears throat> Are we going to bed and letting her deal with all of her shit? Are we waiting up for her? Are we yeah. having a conversation? What's the deal? The We're moment. Staring out the window. Yeah. And quickly arranging ourselves into seats in the shadows and darkness when we feel she's about to approach the door. And then mm. as she opens it and turns on our little propane lamp, we're both sitting there like, well? Not yet. I must find a shirt for him. He had to disrobe oh, uh, uh, to shirt? save a jellyfish. <laughs> oh, okay. That's not what I thought. Okay. Yeah. Seems Can nice. Save the jellyfish. Praise Nadina. Yeah, we did save a jellyfish. We're basically heroes. He's a hero, truly, actually. That's impressive now that I think about it. I didn't think about it back then, but now that I'm talking about it, I'm like, hmm, save the jellyfish. Anyway, gotta get him a shirt. He's cold. Do you give him one of your shirts? I give him one of my shirts. Well, he's a human, so when he puts it on, it's just like a little crop top. You know, it like <sighs> it like comes up to the top of the, the you know the midsection where his ribs start to part and like leaves his abdomen completely yeah. exposed. And, and I gave him and, my but you're like best. big around, so it like fits across mm -hmm. his shoulder, his chest, you know, pretty well. But just whoop, mm -hmm. Cute. he looks like a, an action hero from the eighties. Aw, yeah. So I give him that, and I'm like, oh, sorry, I didn't think about how tall you are. Uh, that's all right. 
I'll, I'll return it. Oh, later. That's... Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can return it. That's okay. Like, yeah, yeah. That's okay. Hm? Thanks. Are your sisters mad? No. Why would I they heard be them mad? say, "Well, when you open the door." You're right. Maybe they are mad. <laughs> I gotta go check up on them. You're right. Now I'm worried. But thanks. That was fun and educative about rocks down alleyways. Yeah, I just need a good name for the game. But, mm, um, I'll think about that. Okay. I'll, I'll I get love back coming to up you with, with the, the notes from from the, the tests when they're done. Yes, and I will think about the name. And yeah, you can bring me back my shirt. So yeah, it was fun. Yeah, it was fun, I guess. Bye. Bye. And then he'll pause and look awkwardly and then walk away. And then hurriedly walk away. I look awkwardly away. and I, I like wave at him walking away. Mm -hmm. And then back. if he looks back, I like start waving again. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, Lazuli, are we pressed up against the window once again watching this? I slowly <laughs> hand you five gold. <laughs> I, I come back him. I'm like, why are you guys waiting? Are you mad? Oh, oh, mad? Did you do something? Yeah, a little. Why are you mad? Cost me five gold. Why? Hmm? Stay that's pure, our, kid. That's not the value of my sh the shirt I gave him. <laughs> Lazlish is all yours. <laughs> Did you do something we should be mad about? Mm, I didn't let him touch the boulder, if that's what we are wondering about. <gasps> I forgot to take the boulder holder back. But that is a did, prototype. He did say he would come back with my shirt. I'm pretty sure he's going to come back with the boulder holder. He doesn't seem like a thief. What do his parents do? I don't know, but we have plans. We're going to do plans? this alleyway thing. Yeah, I'm going to find him a rock. We need to find a name. Excuse me, he took you to an alleyway? Yeah. A dark, undeveloped sliver of space between buildings. Yes. Okay. It was really cool. He's like setting it up to be like a really fun game thing. What I think it's going to be popular. The fuck kind of game can you play in an alleyway? Well, you should come check it out. I, uh, unlike my youngest sister, don't follow strange men to dark crevasses. Well, maybe I do now. Now that I have a new friend who is a guy. But his name's not Guy. It's Giovanni. Well, that's so, very nice for you. So you like him then? He's cool. You're going to see him again? Yeah, yeah, we need to keep working on that thing. So he's more of a, like, colleague. No, he's not going to make shoes. <laughs> <laughs> he's not part of the anti-cobblers guild movement. I mean, now. yeah, really... What more could you need than us in the store and Protoni? The rock. Yeah, the rock. And this new Giovanni guy friend person. I mean, yeah, if you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's super cool. I've okay, never seen well... somebody so interested in... I mean, no, Baldara's more interested than him into the rocks, but like for an outsider that's like not us. He's the most interested person I've seen about things like the rock and my dragon stick. I've already taken the rock out and I'm carefully ex like checking it. And I'm like, oh, yeah. It's got a little of a uh, seawater on it from the sea spray. <gasps> Buffs right out. Mm. Mm. Good job, sis. Well, and you didn't let him touch it at all, right? No, not at all. He looked at it. That's it. Mm -mm. No touching. I didn't eat anything. At all. Better safe than sorry. And... There was no vaporous forms that approached me. And I didn't use the whistle because I was not in danger. Very I stayed good, in control man. the whole time. And I kept holding onto the boulder the whole time. It was super heavy, but I never let go. Really well, proud of you. 
<laughs> Sounds like you and the boulder had a lot of adventuring today, and maybe yeah, we did. You both went and took a little rest tonight. Oh, <gasps> I can keep the boulder for tonight. Just tonight. That's gonna be such a good night. <laughs> I like bring the boulder up and I take my little pack of flowers that I didn't put into the water and I like squish them in my hand and I like go upstairs with my little flowers. Oh. I put them next to my bed stand. <laughs> They're all <Aww>. crumpled. <laughs> it's adorable. It's all grown up. Well, as we close out tonight's session, we're just going to do a quick checking in with our characters. We're going to start with, um, we're going to start with Pebble. How was this for you, Pebble? Is she it all it's cracked really up time. to be? Yeah. Is mm -hmm. it? Is it nice when people think of you specifically instead of as an accessory to your sisters? Yeah, she was super excited about that. But like, it's a double whammy, right? Like. Roy Boy also acknowledged her existence and sang about her and said she's his favorite dwarf. Mm -hmm. And then introduced her to his half brother who's also interested in her interests. All right. It's a really good day. It might be one of the better days. Maybe not the best day, but one of the better days for sure. Excellent. We're going to flip over to Boldara. You let the rock out of your sight and it came back. Your sister went on a date and she came back and she's fine. Your party developed some new branding and some new ideas and some new concepts and you found a tailor for everything and, and it all went well. Yeah, it turns out if I just focus uh, on things outside of me that I have ultimately little or no control over, then... I, I can really focus and, you know, bring a lot of my energy and caring to bear on these issues and these relationships and fill my life and my time with a passive observance of others. And how do we feel about how we did this session? Do, did we do good? Was this bearable? <laughs> I... I... What? Winning a session of D&D &D is something both reasonable to want and possible to achieve, and Baldara feels like she has succeeded here. <laughs> the, the little wobble in your voice that really sells it. The, the wide eyes, too. The, mm -hmm. like, middle distance. <laughs> Everything's great. Yeah. <laughs> great, Baldara. I'm glad it's all going well for you and you're... you're... You're finding purpose in life. That's great. It's good that you're protective of, of your sister, too, and her happiness. I have lots of good things in happiness, Neil. You have a lot to offer the world. Last but not least, Lazuli. Lazuli. Yes. How do we feel about, about Pebbles Day? And what I mean by that isn't how do we feel about Pebbles Day? What I mean about that is how do we how do we feel about Pebbles Day? You know? Mm. Like how does Lasley feel about the fact that little sister went on a date and Lasley did not? That is absolutely one possible interpretation of those words. Yes. Um, uh, I think that it's one of the few things that Lasley doesn't have like a strong stance on and that is very confusing for her like hmm. she is kind of like oh it went good okay good uh, and I think that's because she has created um, a carefully constructed ambivalence around relationships with anything other than her sisters. And that's rarely questioned, and it leaves her very vulnerable. I see. So those conversations with Roy Boy about, you know, dating and, and not being interested in it, 
is um it wasn't like a facade that was I think was, it's like, a facade but it's like a very deep facade like because she's I'm the oldest right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so like the parents are gone she was just like my only function is save the family business take care of the sisters and I think that's been her focus for so long that like probably deep down there's some something going on with that conversation I don't know if I should like reveal exactly what she's thinking but um it's it is a facade, but it's also like probably a facade to her own self too. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense. It does. It does. <clears throat> so if I were to follow up the with a question of um how do we feel about Pebble's date in a in a more normal, direct manner, um, how does the eldest of the siblings, the the caretaker of the siblings, um react or you know internally process the youngest getting not ready to leave the nest like obviously she's not leaving the nest but beginning to you know flap some wings i think that lasley is like glad that she's doing like you know making a friend at least like doing things being social but like is kind of relieved that it didn't seem to go great because she's like yeah, sure, date or whatever, but then, like, come home, and then the most important thing is that we're family and we're together. Mm. Okay. Well, that will wrap us up for this week's session of City Dwarves. The party, always up to interesting things, has got a new project in the way, has got a new pair of lines coming out, might have a boyfriend, maybe, maybe not. Might just be a, a fellow rock collector and a fellow rock friend and a fellow boulder holder. You know, could be anything. Don't judge it. It's not It's not for you to judge. Um, and that's that. So we're done. We're done with our session. Zero experience points for the party. Uh, you what? killed no monsters. You accomplished no quests. We invented spants. You, you have not Jerry even made face. a prototype yet. I saved a jellyfish from certain death. I mean, no, Giovanni your fake did. boyfriend saved a jellyfish. We've done nothing of value in this entire session, so no experience. Whatever. I killed we... so much within me <laughs> to be cool here. Um, and with that, we will we'll catch you next time with more city dwarves, where we will actually probably assign experience eventually and level someone up one day. Uh, but good night. <laughs> Okay. Bye.